virtually. The practice of firing employees remotely has now become increasingly popular since the pandemic, drawing scrutiny from some HR professionals. Join us right now to discuss the uh, fired from home trend. Uh, Jessica Kriegel, uh, chief scientist of Workplace Culture, Culture Partners. Good morning to you. Uh, we've seen this now repeatedly, um, including, I think, probably most famously at, at Twitter, uh, Jessica, but now you have a company like McDonald's uh, doing it. There's some people who say, obviously, that this is a terribly undignified uh, way to fire people, that it creates an abstraction or in terms of the relationship that an employee has with the company. Uh, however, I heard from some people yesterday who said, actually, that this is more dignified, that the idea of having to walk out of an office, holding a box in front of all your other colleagues, that that is worse. What do you think? It's absolutely more dignified now that working from home is normalized. We work from home. That means all of the business of work, collaboration, innovation, and also getting laid off. Frankly, I think McDonald's is teaching a master class in layoffs. They broadcasted back in January that they were coming. People were able to prepare. Now April has come and they're letting people know in the comfort of their own home, they're able to maintain confidentiality. They don't have to walk their stuff out down the hallway and be escorted out. If I were getting laid off, I'd want to be laid off at home, not at the office. So, but what do you make of, I mean, I would say the majority, I don't want to speak for the majority or the minority, but there's a lot of people out there that say this is, they're on the undignified side of this. They say, no, 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 no. This is, this totally undoes the relationship that a company has with an employee. It's no longer personal at all. The idea that, you know, they're going to ship your stuff home uh, if they ship it at home at all. Uh, changes even your own psyche about, you know, whether you're even going to be allowed into the office the next day on any given day, whether your key card really is going to work or not, and that that changes both the, also long term the sort of loyalty that employees may or may not have to companies. Listen, culture is not about being at the office and around the water cooler. It's not about the way that we interact at headquarters around the ping pong table. It's about the experiences we have. And those experiences lead to beliefs. And those experiences can happen on a Zoom call. They can happen in a text message. They happen on the phone just as much as they happen in person. And so I've laid people off before, and it's incredibly emotional. When I lay people off, they get angry. They get sad. It's really difficult, both for the person being laid off and the person who is doing the laying off. And so in those moments, do you want to, as soon as you hear that news, have to go walk outside, deal with the people who are staring at you, pack up your stuff, walk down the hallway? Or do you want to hang up and go cry in your room and go talk to your family and have space to grieve and deal with whatever emotions it is that you're having? Now that we're working in a virtual environment, that idea that we have to be in person is an old school mentality. It's just not the case anymore. I, I actually find that your, your argument quite persuasive. I'm curious though, you've, I imagine you've gotten feedback from others who say, Jessica, come on. <laughs> yeah, and I say what? Experiences happen at a virtual level. Those experiences lead to beliefs. The belief that I would hold if I got laid off at home is, McDonald's cared about me. They wanted me to feel comfortable. They wanted me to maintain my confidentiality. They didn't want me to do that walk of shame. That's going to lead me to take an action, which is going to be able to allow me to have whatever experience I need to work through that. And that's going to get a result, which is I'm going to feel right. a little bit better. Jessica, about the just, but just, just, just to uh, level set for the audience, because it sounds like you are a, a proponent in a big way of a, a hybrid workplace. Yeah, absolutely. It, all of the people who say that it's not productive, it's not creative, they're going based on a feeling that it worked better in the old days, not actual results or data. Jessica, is it okay to fire people by text or by email? Because a lot of these companies have. No. So these middle of the night slack disconnections that inform people that they're being laid off or fired, that is going too far. We need to be able to have a conversation. That is its own experience, right, to find out that way. We need to be humane and we can be humane virtually. You think the future of this, I mean, in the end, do you think hiring is going to happen virtually? I mean, it sounds like you're, you're moving, are you moving to a fully virtual world or where are you in that the sort of hybrid versus fully virtual universe we're all going to live in. 
I think it depends on the strategy that the organization has, but the more flexibility we offer, the more talent we're going to be able to hire, the more we're able, we're going to be able to create more diversity, equity, and inclusion in the workplace. I'm a single mom. Being able to work from home is critical for me in order to be successful. And so if someone wants to hire me, they're going to have to let me work from home. And I think a lot of people are in that position. This old school thinking needs to be dropped. The fact that we have to be in the office together and that's where culture gets created. It's just not true. Jessica, with some very provocative views this morning, we appreciate you uh, joining us. Um, I imagine your Twitter, Twitter feed may get full up. Uh